Hey guys, just stopping in for a little bit of a glaze session pause, but I want to talk to you guys about how uh, or, or or why I really like the new structure of programs and how I can I really just took advantage of this to get the program, uh, the September monthly awards for Soto done really quickly and in, a, in the most fun way possible, at least for me, an online player forward, you know, someone who enjoys online a little bit more. So what do you do? Well, I, first of all, you hop in. What did I do? I'm sorry, excuse the, the static. I don't know why that's a thing. I collected, I exchanged set three players. I definitely did this. Um, I think it's worth it. Tops now collection, I ended up getting that done too. Make sure you guys do your top now moment. Tops now moments. Uh, a nice thing they did about tops now. I gotta get out of this. Oh my God. I can't even, I can't even think with that static. Holy shit. Uh, the nice thing they did about tops now is now after week two, I believe it's just moments to get the cards and no longer that 1000 PXP thing with all the players. That was awful. It was a gatekeep for uh, people who wanted to do tops now. The cards weren't good enough to warrant that extra grind. No one felt like building a whole team and trying to remember who was it, who, who you have to use and then use them against the CPU just to get the, a, a bogus 97. It made no sense. But now, the most recent tops now, which is moments, and then they gave us a 99 Adam Wainwright DH card. Everyone can have fun with this. It's very solid. So shout out to them for that. After you get all these things out the way, right? Exchanges, tops, now collections, mini season collection. I did not do this, but this is an option. Only two stars for each and 15 for that Pena. The event collection. This is where you hop in. So what do I do first? I did all the moments. Get those out the way first. Get those done. Nice chunk of progress. You get a bunch of cards that way. Then what do I do after that? Well, I hopped into the event that's going on right now where you can use monthly awards and lightning cards. Use, uh, build a team of all the cards I needed to use for this program and played online games. And what did I do if I needed to get a mission done with Jack Flaherty? I just won a game in events, restarted the run, used him again until I finished his mission. Stuff like that. And then restart your run every time you get a new player, add him to your team, and then pro uh, pro uh, progress that way. Get more and more PXP each and every time. Now, I'm trying to go in here every now and then so it doesn't blow your mind, but <clears throat> the reduction of online missions needed for offline play it, uh, or for online play is great. So for, what, what do I mean by that? September tasks, <clears throat> the single player stat mission, so offline. You need 27 innings pitch with September monthly awards, in, uh, including the captain, Jack Flaherty. If you do it online, you just need 18, a whole game's worth less. That's how it should always be. Give us the option to do both, but reward the online player a little bit more because it's harder to do that, right? There's a trade-off. Against CPU, it's mad easy. You could do it on rookie. Uh, but when you hop into event or ranked, you can't really control what difficulty you're playing on. You can't control your opponent. You can't control if you're playing at a crazy park where it's hard to get out. It's so many, so many more outlying factors, and it's just better this way, right? It might still be the most optimal way to hop against the CPU and do it, just to get it done fastest. But I completed it in like two, three hours on stream by just doing this in events. I had a much more fun time doing it. I got nine event wins towards the newest event 20 win rewards Hatis just from doing the other program. I got two birds, one stone. It was such an, a, a great of, uh, model for programs for the future, for the rest of this game cycle. I wish it came a little bit earlier. It's never what she says. But <laughs> I wish it showed up a little bit earlier. This way we could have taken advantage of it and maybe it wouldn't have killed the player base as much as it did in terms of people were a little bit scorned uh, by the content. So much to the point where they haven't even tried out the new structures of programs because they were so scorned from the end of set two all the way into the beginning of set four. Because that to me, uh, mid middle-ish end, 60% uh, of the way through set two is when things started falling off a cliff and they didn't make adjustments quick enough. But... So far, so good with this. I'm having a good time. I still think they need to add more content frequently. It's just not enough. Once a week is just not enough. Even if you do it this way, we just have not enough things to play for. There's a lot of other things I want to make videos about, guys. Um, and, going, and one of them is going to be about the rank system and how I want to overhaul it. At least how I think it should be overhauled. That's another video separate. But one more thing that I want to... I kind of want to jump in here and talk about that I think, you know, really, really matters is i think oh my god i lost that thought there holy hell what was that thought oh got the thought sorry i don't know why i lost that so hard but i found it so what was i going to talk about it's about content people have been telling me set one was my favorite or set three was my favorite one and three were the best they were the best blah 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 i could tell you exactly why the obvious reasons set one had the best and most interesting content world baseball classic cards with a bunch of new players and old players that we love that we didn't know and we got to see cards for them it was fantastic it was great wish we had more team captain cards they didn't do enough with that that's a side story set three why do we love set three so much it had a bunch of our favorite players get 99s j ram uh austin riley ronald acuna jr adley rutschman i don't know why i rolled the r like that 
Dominican. Ali Ross, man. Hey, Dominican, Bobby. Okay, okay. I digress. That's why we like set three. That's the obvious reasons why people can think of. But I could tell you a reason you haven't really thought of. That's why you might like set one and set three the most. It's because those are when cards expire. We had set one, which is building your teams. It was the most amount of team building, which is what we need more in this game. There's not enough team building. That's the best part about these games is building your team, construction, constructing a team, playing online and offline to build your team, get more cards. Set two was more of the same. It was just a continuation of set one and you add more God Squad cards. But essentially the base was all the same for the regular players. That's a very bad model. Set three comes around. All the Rokies and the Bob Gibsons are gone. We're moving on to new cards. We need new players. We need new cards. That's why it hit. Yeah, the cards were great, but the content wasn't that much better. It was kind of all the same. Not many changes. It's just that cards expired. That is the point we're needing to make. If you're going to go with a model that doesn't have power creep, you needed to do a better job of balancing it. So metas don't become so stale and there is a sense of purpose to your game. There is no RPG element buildings in this game because of two reasons. They didn't utilize captains well enough. We're only now getting 97s. They didn't add more captains. They never balanced captains. That's one, two not enough players expired in hindsight i'm not blaming them for this this is some a structural issue they, sh they should take into next year if they choose to go in this direction with sets and seasons you need to make far less sets maybe just four extend them by maybe another 50 percent 35 to 50 percent in terms of length but at the end of those sets those cards expire that is the only way that's going to work because every single time there's a carryover set like two or four it's going to feel dead even right now with the best content we've had since season one in my opinion with set four it's still a dead game even in the height of the postseason because there is nothing to play for everyone's teams already the damn same juan soto lightning card is absolutely incredible but not a 5-2 player which we already have ten thousand of that's the reason why we don't feel fulfilled. I gave you guys the obvious reasons that we already know. World Baseball Classic for set one. Great fan favorites in set three. But I also gave you the underlying reason, which is to me the bigger driving factor of why this game feels empty. It's because there are just nothing. There's nothing to grind for. We oh, Nothing expired. Come set five, when things expire, it's going to be different. I believe that's finest. Everyone's going to go, oh my God, or whatever the new content. We're going to go, all the, I want this, I want that, my team, my team. Everyone was worried this year about, oh, when a set expires, what am I going to do? My team's going to be empty, blah, blah, blah. We've somehow had the worst part of that problem, but none of the benefits. The worst part of the problem is we feel like we're regrinding for the same cards, which we are. The, but we never got the best of it, which was a fresh start. We've only had that twice so far. And kind of like baby time the second time with set three, right? Because you can still have a bunch of good cards by that point. We haven't had any. We, it's not felt at all to me like I've used a card for not enough time. And oh, I know, I play this for a living. I play this. Guys, but ultimate team modes are for the regular players. Let's not pretend like this is something different, man. I'm not saying you can't enjoy it if you play sporadically, but ultimate team modes, grinding card collection games are for the grinders, the regular players, not even grinders, just people who play three to four times a week. Now, if you play three to four times a week and you just have a head on your shoulders and you know what you're doing or you follow some tutorials from YouTubers, your team has been pretty good. Your team is pretty solid. Everyone's kind of experiencing the same thing. When I go from 700 to 900 every damn World Series season, which is another problem, by the way, for a separate video, we'll talk about that. I am facing pretty much the same teams over and over and over again. It feels stale. I'm facing the same opponents, essentially, it feels like. There's very little difference, right? Same pitchers, same three, four pitchers, same core lineup, guys, same collection cards. That is a core issue with the game. Now, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. I know it's a little bit of a different video, more of a rant style, but I think it's important that we think about these things, right? So this way we understand what's going on and we know what to ask for coming 24. And when it comes to things like changing program structure, we don't have to wait till the next year. They can show, they show you right now they could do this. So don't tell me that I can't ask for things about programs because they're not going to make those changes. They've done it time and time again, but... I'd say hold your breath for wanting new game features or adjustments to game modes. I don't think it's going to happen this year. That's, those are much more complex changes that are from the ground up. But always looking for ways to adjust content. Always looking for ways to make the experience great for offline and online players. And I'll do my best to kind of give those ideas uh, a platform. So I hope you enjoy it. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. I'll be going back and forth with a few of you guys. With a few of you guys. Thank you so much. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time, man. Peace.